Hi, James. Hi, James. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Doing well, good morning. thank you. Well, it's always good to talk to you guys again because you know I'm a Pittsburgh fan. <laughs> oh. no. You're a Pittsburgh fan in in the Missouri area, though, huh? <laughs> Oh, definitely. Pittsburgh and the Chiefs. But don't worry, my brother is an avid Cowboy fan, so we have fun every <laughs> NFL season. Trust me, we do. I remember <laughs> this about you. James, we were, at, uh, we were at, Lexi and I both were at the Hall of Fame game in Canton, and I must say, Pittsburgh showed up. Yeah, yes. they really did. Yep, Definitely. You know what? Let's talk about this. The first battle to join one of the nation's most iconic teams continues in CMT's longest running hit series. Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders making the team. And today I've got with me Kelly Fingerlass. I've got her with me. And along with Kelly, I have Judy Trammell. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, James. And uh, actually, I have, to, I have to surprise you a little bit. We actually have Lexi Smith with us, our one of our fifth-year group leader cheerleaders. She's sitting in for Judy this morning. So you get to talk to a oh. cheerleader that's on the turf. <laughs> oh, wow. And what's her name again? Lexi. Lexi. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me start off with Lexi. I want to, because this is a burning question I ask each time I talk to you guys, and that is this. As a cheerleader... How much pressure are you under in making a team? You know, there is a lot of pressure, and I think we do it to ourselves. We put a ton of pressure on ourselves um, to execute our routines perfectly, and uh, there's just a lot that goes into it. But I think having the mental toughness to be able to get through training camp, remind ourselves that nobody's perfect, everyone makes mistakes from time to time, but just to keep pressing on to – being better the next time we're out there and performing. Um, that's that's a huge takeaway for me and my experience going through training camp for the last five seasons. You know, Kelly, speaking of that, what are you looking for in these cheerleaders and how much pressure is on you to make sure that you're making the right choice? You know, I think a lot of people don't realize that the pressure is exactly that. It's, it's reciprocated. Um, I take these decisions very seriously. I know that our decisions are dream makers. And I also know that it can, I don't want it to break someone's spirit to try out again or try something else. Um, the truth of the matter is, is it's a very elite group of dancers. And now we attract dancers from all over the country. We had ladies from 45 states this year. So it's an elite group. Um, I'm confident with my team of judges and our process and our decision making. And, and so that helps me sleep at night, knowing that I had a very thorough and fair audition process. Lexi, let's, let's start from the beginning with you. How did you find out about the tryouts? And once you did, what was your process? So I am one of the few that is actually from Dallas. So I grew up idolizing the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I've watched the show with my mom since the beginning. It's always been a dream of, dream of mine since I was a little girl. So, um, you know, once it was time for me, I'd graduated college. Once it, once it was my time to be able to audition, um, I went for it and it didn't work out the first time for me. And, and looking back, I, I wasn't ready then. And, you know, going off of what Kelly said, I respect their process so much and they really do they're rooting for everybody there it's just they have a really tough job to be able to find the best of the best um so prepped really hard um i actually spent two seasons dancing for uh, the nba for the dallas mavericks um and then felt a lot more confident a lot more prepared um was ready to audition again so made it in 2017 and this is now my fifth season you know, Kelly, I was just thinking about that. You've been with the Dallas Cowboys. How many years have you been there now? Well, if you add um, all my cheerleading years together, plus director, 38, I believe. Um, but I've been the director since 91. So over 30 years coaching the team. You know, you have seen coaches and players come and go but you're still there. What's your thought on that? <laughs> well, I, I don't have to, the cheerleaders win all their games. <laughs> um, um, 
I, I just think, you know, the NFL itself is, is more fluid with coaches and players. Now that's just the way it is. I've, I've been blessed to have found um, my passion and an organization that, you know, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But um, yeah, I've had, I mean, I have been with coach Landry um, till now coach McCarthy. So it's, I've, I've seen a lot of heroes and legends, including some of your Steelers, um, <laughs> you know, through my experiences, it's just been amazing. Yeah. And when you say that, I think about, uh, it, well, I wasn't thinking about the Steelers, but I was actually thinking about Jackie Smith, uh, who used to be with the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. So, yeah, I remember that. Kelly Finglass, Lexi Smith, thank you so much for joining us on Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders making the team. I know it'd be extremely tough for me to make the team, even the football team. So, ladies, thank you again for joining us on Morning Blend. Thank you. Thank you.